I'm Becky Kelly, WEC's president. Each decade has presented new challenges, and WEC has stepped up to the plate every time. But we have never done this alone. Our experience shows that we are stronger together, which is why we have always brought likely and unlikely partners together to work for change. For decades, we worked with tribes, the timber industry, and agencies to develop better logging rules for the state and private forest lands that make up a quarter of our state. In 2002, WEC, together with WCV, led the creation of the Environmental Priorities Coalition to pass shared priorities in the state legislature. This network of over 20 groups, and so many of you, friends, are in the room tonight, and we thank you, um, has produced real gains for the environment. In our 15-year history, the coalition has helped secure 16 new laws and over $600 million in funding for environmental protection. Because, yes, because we pulled together, our cars are cleaner, and A.G. Ferguson is gonna make sure they stay that way. We have more public spaces to enjoy with our families, and there are fewer toxic chemicals in household products. Thank you, Priorities Partners, for getting this done. But today, we face new challenges, as daunting as any in our 50-year history. We have a federal administration that is hostile to environmental protection and justice of every kind. The global challenge of climate change and pollution threatens everything we love about Washington. Our evergreen forests, our precious Puget Sound, our rich farmlands, and most importantly, the health of our families and our communities. But we are prepared to face these challenges with new partnerships and a deeper sense of collaboration. Our long history, we need to own this, has not always led to equitable results. It is a deeply troubling fact that race is the number one indicator of whether someone is affected by pollution. Communities of color and tribal nations are no strangers to the fight against pollution and for healthier communities. We have the responsibility to listen to people who are most impacted, to engage deeply with each other, and to develop solutions together. <laughs> the Alliance for Jobs and Clean Energy is living this model. In this innovative coalition, we are working together with business, with labor, racial justice, health, and faith organizations to reduce carbon pollution, to strengthen our economy, and to ensure that all Washington families have a better future. The current political situation has us all a little brokenhearted, full of anger and sadness for what is happening to our country. Earlier this week, at a legislative hearing on climate policy, my heart was mended a little as I listened to an environmental lobbyist, a retired oil refinery worker, an advocate for farm workers and rural communities, a solar company leader, and an immigrant rights leader sit side by side and testify in support of our climate policy. I felt hope in that moment. Today, I don't think WEC's vision for our future is that different from what our founders had hoped for. Thriving communities across the state where people have clean air to breathe, clean water to drink, healthy food, and living wage jobs in a sustainable economy. Together, we, all of us, can set an example for the nation and be a beacon of hope. And tonight's keynote speaker, Vien Trong, has done just that. Vien is the director of Green for All an organization that has been integral in national efforts to build a just and equitable clean energy economy. She has helped shift a quarter of California's greenhouse gas reduction fund to disadvantaged communities. She's worked on dozens of climate and energy initiatives throughout California and across the nation. She is one of the nation's strongest voices in making sure that people of color are at the forefront of the climate movement. And she's been recognized by a dear president, President Obama, <laughs> as a champion of change for climate equity. So please join me in welcoming Vienne. Let's hear um, and learn from her. Thank you.